right, so here he is, the number one lightweight contender. And man, if that's not saying something, right? Got through the gauntlet at 155 pounds, made himself undeniable. And now tonight, TC, we find out what he has for the champion. It long has been considered the deepest weight class in the UFC. So you know to get here is very tough. You have navigated the waters. You have done everything right. When it was time to press square, you press square. When it was time to press X, you press X. You better do it again tonight if you want to become the champion. There is no room for error as you try to win a UFC championship. And no room for a one pound allowance. He was right on the number 155 pounds championship weight. Confidence is high that he will wrest the title away here tonight. Well, if you want to talk about a division being the glamour division in this modern era, maybe it's lightweight, and this is the man they are all chasing, the undisputed king at 155 pounds. He's the champion of the world, the lightweight champion, a very difficult belt to capture. This is one of those titles that when you start, it seems like the journey is so long, it's so daunting, because those champions are tremendous. This guy knew from day one that one day he would hold that championship belt. He got there and he has been defending it valiantly. He's a tremendous champion and he loves the opportunity to once again prove that he's the best. And it is interesting to look back at some of his early days in the UFC compared to this version. Night and day, we'll see how it goes for the champion here tonight. Charles Oliver steps inside the octagon and is ready to fight. Our tale of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If it is the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Armin Ahakalakis Darukian. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles Gopalt Oliveira. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. All right, early portions of the round, we will see how it goes for Charles Oliveira. This man has every skill you would want in a mixed martial artist, and that's why he has gone from, you know, middling featherweight at times to one of the greatest lightweights of all time. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, massive kick to the head. Oh, that's big. Uppercut. Oh, my goodness. Submission defense by this young man. Sarukian has got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. Start raining those elbows. Start raining Big ground and pound. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Sarukian. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike oh, gets through. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect him. All right, so oh, there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. 
punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Sauragon has got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Oh, another blow lands on the cut. Critical situation now. He's a bloody man. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loved, I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you'd be up on an elbow, right. you'd be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Oh, how about that reversal by him there? Oliveira going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes, mixing it up pretty well here. Oh, looking for the submission now. Oh, man, he's getting deep. Oh, great submission defense by him there. Now he's attacking with a submission. Boy, I'm telling you, he gave him no opportunity to catch a breath. He defended. Now, how about that? Avoids the submission and pops right back up. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. Probably lost this round, okay? All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right. Round two. Beautiful block there. So you got a question. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, big left. Oh, good knee. Nice level change. Win the scramble. Win the scramble. I'm getting the ball here. Yeah, that's it. Nice shot there by the champ. A terrible position. Oliveira's trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, arms in tight. Wow, somehow, some way he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not Darce. Yep, he's trying to hit a Darce here. He's got the sub locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys work, are work, back work. and forth with submission defense wins this transition. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Nice transition. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All 
right, rubber guard now, DC. Some submissions at his disposal if he so chooses. Yeah, he does have a couple submissions. They're very rare submissions. Go, go, Plata, Omo Plata. But if the guy has any understanding of submission defense, he knows how to stay safe in this position. So there are advantages to being here, but the danger isn't so vast that you should pan. Yeah, we've only seen a handful of Omoplatas in UFC right. history. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is Ready. going to sting, and the Ready. bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. Round three of a possible five. Oliveira's an absolute mess right now. This fight might actually get stopped by the ringside physician due to that cut. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. And there was a lead elbow, so he's mixing everything up. Look at that, that's tight. Oh, how about this, as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a Von Flu choke. Golden St. Flu would be proud. Oh, he got out, how good is that? This guy is so aware, he never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Saul Kyung. Just over three minutes to go. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete, right? Yeah, this is this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, this court... Darth Shulk is up here. That Darth Shulk is tight. Great submission defense. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show itself. Saragon is right back to the full mount. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Championship rounds. All right. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round as they attend to that pretty nasty cut in his eye area. You got to lock in defensively, man. You cannot be out there just fighting. His opponent is too high level to try to fight him with his ego. Now he's dealing with a nasty cut over his eye. Why do you need another thing to manage when you already got one of the best fighters in the world in front of you? You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He continues to sway with every 
huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. He passes the half guard. It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shots on that eye. I wonder if the referee's thinking about calling in the doctor now. Well, well John, the entirety of the fight, that has been the target of his opponent. He had Oliveira's going for a choke. That Darce choke is tight. That Darce choke is very tight. What he has to do now is slide that arm up under the neck, lock it in the cross, make the figure. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Lands the ground and pound strike. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. In the half guard. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Sarukyan. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. Oh, another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you got to you got to defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build because once that momentum gets going, you will have no way of stopping it. And I don't have a lot of muscle over there, so I don't think I could take too many of these if I was a fighter. Well, you need that body like mine if you want to get hit down there. You can't be, you can't be too skinny. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a sufficient or big ground and pound. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Sawyer Jump. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Oh, looks like he's going for an armbar here. How tight is that? Armin, very tight. Oh, that has got to be it. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these good obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Heading back to the corner now, Oliveira's right, eye great. is in rough awesome shape. Job, I mean, I would just probably really well. the last quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside physician exactly did come in did. and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. You ready to fight? You ready? Go we have go. arrived at this fifth and final round. Nice uppercut by the champion. is only going to be surpassed by the zeros on the check. A huge knockout tonight. Got to think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 29 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Armin Ahalkalakis Tarukian! Oh, what a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying. You're crying? <laughs> I mean, 
almost a it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something that they set out to do so long ago congratulations to the champ he did a great job